Counting calories is not the same as calories in, calories out. Rob at Fear Perform and welcome back to another video. So, counting calories. Had to make a video on this topic because I tend to see this on social media, in the comments, and individuals out there, social influencers, who tend to promote cutting calories and counting calories and getting them confused. Counting calories is not the same as calories in, calories out. Now, I'm not sure where we get this confused because counting calories is a number. It's a measurement. My measurement, I track it on my fitness pal and I have consumed 622 calories. Okay, now, does that mean that I am going to lose weight if I consume that much food? Eh, yeah, more than likely. But if I calculate my calories at 4,000 calories, okay, will I potentially gain weight, especially if I'm not exercising and not expending many calories? Yes, I will. However, and I'm sure there'll be people out there that will say, well, I counted my calories and it didn't work. I didn't lose weight. Okay, and we do have research on this topic, okay? When individuals track their calories, they tend to underestimate how much food they are consuming. So, for example, they calculate that they are consuming 2,000 calories, but they're actually consuming 2,500 calories. So they're consuming more food okay, than what they are actually reporting. So if you're consuming too much food and your goal is to try and be in that caloric deficit, right, that negative energy balance, you are not going to lose weight because you're not in that caloric deficit. And I'm sure you have seen vlogs of individuals counting their calories and you thought, actually, that's not correct. You haven't tracked the spices you've added. You haven't tracked the oil you have used in your pan. You need to track those guys, okay? Track everything so you can get a sort of precise number on how many calories you are consuming. And this is where some individuals can go wrong when they are counting or tracking their calories. And no matter what diet you are doing, okay, and I think there are many great diets out there. I'm a big fan of IF, intermittent fasting. I'm a big fan of keto. I'm a big fan of six meals a day. Whatever diet works for you, it works for you, okay? And I think diets like intermittent fasting are great diets to use without counting your calories and putting you automatically in that caloric deficit which I think is great because if we wanna lose weight, that's what we're going to need to do. And it restricts the amount of food that you are consuming throughout the day. And to end this video, I just want to end it on this fantastic point that I think is valid when it comes to our nutrition. There is no one most effective diet to promote weight loss. In the short term, high protein, low carb diets and intermittent fasting are suggested to promote greater weight loss and could be adopted as a jumpstart. However, owing to adverse effects, caution is required. In the long term, current evidence indicates that different diets promote similar weight loss and adherence to diets will predict their success. Finally, it is fundamental to adopt a diet that creates a negative energy balance and focuses on good food quality to promote health. So some really good points to take away from that, all right? Negative energy balance if your goal is weight loss, okay? Adherence, long-term success, good food quality, which I think is extremely important, health. But guys, to make this very clear, counting calories is a measurement of how many calories you have calculated on that day, okay? And then, based off you as the individual, now you can do a BMR calculator to calculate your caloric intake, but guys, this is not a precise number. You can count calories, all right, and lose weight, and you don't have to count calories to lose weight because you need to be in that caloric deficit. Now, can counting calories help you in your you know, pursuit to understanding how many calories your body needs per day? Yes, so for example, I know exactly how many calories I need to consume because I've done it for so long, all right? And you will get things wrong when you start this, okay? When you start to count on your calories, and that's, that's normal, right? But you can start to understand how many calories, roughly, your body needs to burn each day for you to maintain your weight, all right? And then you can start to take away foods based off you as the individual. And you don't have to count calories to lose weight because you need to be in that caloric deficit. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.